All right, double recording, because I'm going to have to write this out, but there's a lot of uh, things I want to remember. Okay, like I said, um, both sides know full well that uh, the end of November is coming, so they're trying to start um, getting perhaps the best positions uh, and whatnot. Um, so these are two, two spots right here that I'm looking at. I was like, hey, wait a minute. There's river here. Um, if the Austro-Hungarians can get towards here, which means I'm going to have to get... So what I'm going to end up doing is there's going to be um, some rule changes here. I think I'm going to get Brejovic to say to the 3rd Army here, um, 3rd Corps specifically, uh, you're actually going to have to start taking over the rail line over here, which I think is a great idea. It's the 4th Army was not impressed with that uh, idea anyways of having to take that. They were kind of like, oh my god, we, you know what I mean? We have to cross the Boog and do that, like... Why should we have to when the third army is already there across and they're not really doing all that much the third court Well, I mean and they are they cross the boot for Christ's sakes But um, maybe this is what they should do and then I'll have a third army direct uh, Nail this spot here and like focus properly Which is a kind of a good thing I've been shifting the troops this way anyways to try to, to take that rail line so the fourth army's troops are kind of actually in a good spot, um, a little bit actually better because I don't, uh, I have uh, 20 kilometers less um, uh, to, to worry about. So that's it. And you know what? In a weird way, um, uh, sorry about the music, but like I said, you probably ain't gonna see this. It's for my own, so I can start writing in the journal later. Uh, it's just a you know, those regurgit. Oh shit! That was a massive. Uh, thank God I've got all the points down, and there you got to see a video of something massive there. Because my little pencil went, oh my god, that's going to be some work to do tomorrow. Or, oh, yeah, it'll be tomorrow because I can't do it now. Um, is, uh, and yeah, talk about, oh, that's a disaster and a half. Well, thank god I wrote everything down, that's all i got to say. Um, uh, is that in a weird way, this is kind of like the Eastern Front's version of, um, uh, what would you call it? Uh, the Race to the Sea. As in, I'm, you know, looking, uh, trying to find a race to... Um, um, the best positions possible. That's why I'm looking at it. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to post this one up because uh, holy F, that was a massive disaster. Now it's one of those ones where I've had uh, anxiety dreams uh, at times. Uh, I've woken up and I'm like, oh my god, I knocked over the whole table. Well, I pretty much that was a pretty good one, especially the way uh, I can remember some people were saying. I think it was like Dad versus Son and Mandarin Mike were saying things like, don't sneeze or whatever. And, uh, well, and also don't stick your freaking pencil between the strap of the uh, reading glasses and whatnot. <laughs> oh my god, that's going to be some uh, interesting, well, I don't know. Off I go. Oh, yeah, you do see that. Oh, sweet Jesus.